This is the easiest and fastest way to install Flutter. I will show you everything you need so you can start coding with Flutter at the end of this video. Step one is to go on flutter.dev. You will click on get started and then windows. Next you will scroll down and you will click on the blue button get the Flutter SDK. I will save this in my downloads. After, in your documents, you will create a folder called Flutter Dev. With this, you can now extract the Flutter SDK inside the Flutter Dev folder. Now you want to make sure that your computer have access to Flutter. So you will go inside the edit the environment variables, click on the button environment variables, and add the new Flutter folder inside the path of your computer. So you click on path and edit. To have access of this path, you will need to go back inside the Flutter Dev document. Then you will click on the folder Flutter and the folder Bin. From this location, you can just copy paste the path of this folder. Inside your edit environment variable, you will click on new and paste the path. If you have space in the path, make sure to add commas at the beginning and at the end. Next, you will click on OK. OK and OK. Now you will open the command prompt and you will write Flutter Doctor. If it doesn't work, it means that your path is bad. So try it again. But if you see a green check mark before Flutter channel, then everything is fine. The next step is to install Android Studio so you will have access to the emulator. For this, you go on developer.android.com studio and you click on download Android Studio. Once the download is completed, click on it. After this, you will click on next next, next, and install. After, click on next and finish. For the Android installation, click on do not import and OK. After this, I will click on don't send, next, 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 and finish. After the component has been downloaded, you will click on finish. Great, so you have now access to Android Studio. You will now click on plugins and write Flutter. You will install this plugin. It will also ask you if you want to install Dart at the same time, and you can say yes. After it will ask you to restart the IDE, which you will do. I will click on restart IDE and restart. The best way to create a Flutter project is not to click on new Flutter project, but to go inside the terminal. You will open the command prompt and then you will go inside your Flutter dev document and you will create a brand new document inside, which we will call Flutter project. Once this is done, you will go back inside the terminal and you will write CD documents. This should bring you inside the document folder. Then you will CD the Flutter dev document and you will CD the Flutter projects. At this point, you should be inside the Flutter projects in the terminal. The next command will be to create a Flutter project and you will need to write exactly the same. Flutter create org. Then you put your website in reverse, com.fluttermap. And at the end, you put the name of your application. Everything should be lowercase without space. If you click enter, you will see all done. Perfect, everything is fine. Now you can open your project inside Android Studio. I will click open, go inside the document, Flutter Dev, Flutter Project, and I will click on my application and click OK. Next, you can click on I trust this project. After this, you can click on the device manager. If you don't see any device, you will need to create one. If you already have one, that's perfect. To create one, you will need to press on the button, create a device, select the phone that you want, click on next, next and finish. So I just created an emulator. We will use this one later, but first we need to install Visual Studio Code. In my opinion, it's better because it's way faster than Android Studio. For this, you will go on code.visualstudio.com and you will click on download. You can now click on VS Code User Setup, click on next, 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 install. After the installation, you click on finish. We will need to go inside the extension and add five of them. You will need the awesome Flutter snippet, better comments, Dart, Flutter, and material icon theme. Next, you can go back inside the Explorer. To open your Flutter project inside Visual Studio, you will click on File, Open Folder, and you will go inside Flutter Dev, Flutter Project, and select your application. Now you can click at the bottom to select your device. I will pick the Start Pixel 6. This should launch your emulator. At this point, if you open the command prompt and you write Flutter Doctor, you should see that everything is fine. But if you have some problem with Android Studio licenses, then you can run this command. All right, so now let's launch the Flutter application. Click on library, main.dart, and click on the play button on the top corner. This will launch your Flutter app inside the emulator. Okay, so if you want to learn Flutter super fast, then you can click the link in the description. Subscribe, that's it, bye.